Hey, it's Khaled Malik from FM91. A brand new segment kickstarts here on air, here on FM91, COP26, Learn for Earth. The conference happening right now, the globe is abuzz, and we are abuzz here on FM91 as all eyes go to Glasgow, Scotland, as the world comes together to pledge committing to halving world's emissions by 20. 30. This is FM91 COP26. Our guest for today, Yasir Darya from Darya, Darya Labs. We have uh, Duralab Ashok, who is in Glasgow right now, in the thick of it, and Granaz Baloch. This is FM91 COP26. Learn for Earth. Get into our brand new segment that kickstarts today here on FM91, here on Khalid Malik's Morning Jam. There's so much that's been spoken about this subject, but I feel like uh, we speak about it and then we forget about it because we feel, well, it doesn't really affect me. But guess what? It does. COP26, Learn for Earth, the global uh, conference and the globe coming together to talk about not only the climate, but action and climate change and how do we do it and how do we do it now and how do we do it officially. Uh, our partners for this entire segment, we have Yasir Darya, who's a nature advocate, organizer of Climate March 2019, founder of the Green Pakistan Coalition and Darya Lab. We've had him before, we've got him now and a big, big good morning to you, Yasir. Good morning. Wow, nice this here. is exciting. Yeah. This is exciting. The fact that FM91 has said, you know what, this is serious yeah. and we need a standalone segment for this and we're going to be doing this twice a week, uh, Mondays and Thursdays, and this is how serious it is and we need to make this, well, it is relevant, but we need to make it so that we understand why it's relevant. And we often speak about, you know, why it's important, but I, I feel like we need to just reinforce why is this important for us to discuss? Yeah. at this length. Yeah. So, we go about our lives, you know, we wake up, uh, we use plastic, we, we breathe air the way it is, yeah. uh, we drink water, we eat food, uh, then we go to work and then we are outside in the air. So, see, nature is with us, we are part of nature and if we keep destroying it the, the way we have been destroying it with our old technologies, uh, things are going to go from bad to worse until habitable uh, cities like Karachi will be deserted mm. because there will be no water, mm. it will, things will turn into desert. Mm. So we need to take urgent actions and you know, mm. that's the whole idea. COP26 is a global conference, Hunajari is a global conference. What is the meaning of this COP is a uh, uh, conference of parties mm. and which means that Jobi stakeholders and Jobi log usme apna ek role ada kar sakte hain theek hai ya jinko nuksan hona hai ya future mein fayda bhi ho sakta hai ji un sab ko yani ke businesses hain ek taraf aapki ek taraf aapki mulkon ki indigenous communities hain yani ke talk about the poorest of the poor and the remotest of the areas so you're going from the top to right to the bottom hmm. and now we're, you're talking about about seven eight million people a Correct. million people Sahih, okay. all over the globe hmm. okay, so they are away from government they are away from policies so the policies have to include them right Sahih. so it's this kind of holistic thinking uh, which will, is going to bring change yes sir um, how do you see the future okay so we have to look at the trends mm -hmm. and when, when we are looking at the future in an informed way. So we're looking at economic trends, we're looking at uh, global trends, uh, environmental trends, we're looking at migrations. So we're looking at the whole picture and trying to get all the ingredients that will remain the same mm. and that will change into the future. So okay. that's how you project into the future. Deep. So basically what we're seeing is a scenario of destruction. Mm. And now we should really start thinking about science fiction movies. Mm. So what you see in science fiction mm. movies mm. Uh, actually becomes reality. Mm. And we can predict that this is going to happen and this is not going to happen. Mm. If we make the right choices, yeah, maybe we can, you know, get on top of the mountain and get to the other side. Mm. But otherwise, as one scientist put it, this is the last stage. When you talk about trends, what is happening now? And if this is happening today, if this is happening today, then what is happening today? Is there any 
اچھا نظر نہیں آ رہا تو پاکستان کے حوالے سے کیا ٹرینڈ نظر آ رہے ہیں ابھی اس وقت دیکھیے اگر بالکل صاف بات کی جائے ٹھیک ہے تو یہ دریائے سندھ میں آپ نے اتنے ڈیم لگا دیے ہیں کہ اس کا سارا پانی نکال کے آپ اس کو سکھا دیں گے وی آلریڈی سی دیٹ دی انڈسٹ از ڈائنگ وچ مینس کہ یہ پورا سندھ کا علاقہ اور ایون پنجاب آدھا جو ہے نا یہ سوکھ جائے گا جب سوکھ جائے گا پانی نہیں ہوگا تو یہاں کے لوگ یہاں سے مائگریٹ کر کے دوسرے علاقوں میں چلے جائیں گے دس پلیس وچ از دی انڈس ریور انڈس ویلی سولائزیشن ول ڈس اپیئر سو اٹس دیٹ سیریس اف دس کنٹینیوز وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سی میسو کیمپس ان وچ پیپل ود بی لونگ بیکاز دے ہیو نو ویئر ٹو گو بیکاز دیر از دا واٹر اور اٹس ٹو ہاٹ ہیٹ کے حوالے سے بھی اور ٹرینڈس کے حوالے سے بھی اگر ہم تھوڑا اوپر چل جائیں نارتھ کی طرف لاہور کی طرف پنجاب کی طرف تو اس حوالے سے ٹرینڈس ہمیں کیا نظر آ رہے ہیں دیکھیے جو ہمارا لائف اسٹائل ہے نا یہ لائف اسٹائل نائنٹین فورٹیز کا ہے یہ کہ آپ ریل سے گاڑی چلائیں کیونکہ یہ فورڈ موٹر کمپنی ان لوگوں کی اس وقت کی بزنس اسٹریٹجی تھی کہ یو نو رن اور ٹرانسپورٹ آن آئل آپ کو پتا نائنٹین ٹوینٹیز اور فورٹیز میں بجلی کی گاڑی ایجاد ہو گئی تھی اینڈ وی آر برنگنگ الیکٹرک وہیکل ناؤ وائی سیٹ It's because the industry is too happy making money hmm. and roads. Hmm. So you see, the petrol industry, the transport industry, they've been working together. And we've all been duped. Every hmm. one of our buildings, can you imagine? In your house, there are like boxes of metal which are going at speeds. Yeah. Okay, this is yeah. crazy. Your children, you yourself, the buildings are crossing the buildings. Your children, you yourself, the buildings are crossing the buildings. Your children, you yourself, the buildings are crossing the buildings. Your children, you yourself, the buildings are crossing the buildings. Your children, if you talk about you know, a civilized way of ڈوئنگ تھنگس تو آپ ایسی سڑکیں ہر سڑک ایسی ہوگی جس پہ کہ بچے کھیل سکیں ٹھیک ہے تو آپ کا ٹریفک وہاں پہ ہوگا ہی نہیں کیوں اس لیے کہ آپ کی پبلک ٹرانسپورٹ رائٹ اور سڑک پہ ہو گیا کیا سائیکلیں ہوں گی آپ کو آپ کو ٹرانسپورٹ پانچ منٹ کی واک میں کہیں بھی شہر میں جانے کے لیے مل جائے گی ایک ہی پرائس میں آپ چاہے شارٹ ٹرپ کریں یا لمبا ٹرپ کریں وہ لگے گا وہی پندرہ روپے ٹھیک ہے تو یہ ساری چیزیں جو ہے نا میں تو کہوں گا کہ لکنگ ایٹ ٹرینڈس کہ آگے کیا کریں تو وی کین ٹیل کہ یہ پیچھے کیا ہوا ہے بالکل سو بیسکلی ماضی کا تو ہمیں پتا ہے کیا سو وی آر ایٹ اے اسٹینڈ پوائنٹ ویئر دا گورنمنٹ اسٹرکچر اور جو کنٹرول کیا جاتا ہے چیزوں کو اٹ از ایٹ اے نیگیٹو لیول سو ٹھیک گورنمنٹ از ناٹ پلینگ اے کنسٹرکٹو رول نہ وہ لوگوں کی سنتے ہیں ان ٹرمس آف پالیسیز نہ وہ ایکسپرٹس کو اپنے پینلس میں رکھتے ہیں They are busy doing something else, Same. which has nothing to, the, to do with the people. In fact, I would say they are anti-people mm. and they are anti-environment. Why would somebody want to destroy two whole islands of mangroves, which is a pristine forest? We are talking about desertification, we are talking about global warming. And here, the biodiversity of the uh, jewels, hain. these are jewels. The Indus Delta is a jewel in the middle of the desert. See? And we have these big developers. who are uh, bent on building a city pouring concrete on all of that mm. so you know this میں نے ایک ٹریول شو کیا تھا دو ہزار نو کی بات ہے ٹریول شو کیا تھا ہم نے گوادر سے لے کے دیوسائے تک چار مہینے گزارے شوٹنگ کی چیزیں دکھائیں کیرتھر نیشنل پارک بھی وہاں پر بھی گئے ہم لوگ اس کے علاوہ جو مینگروز ہے وہاں پر بھی گئے کایاک اینڈ اس وقت بھی ہم یہ بات کر رہے تھے کہ یہ نہیں ہوں گے مطلب ہم ان کو ان کی ڈسٹرکشن ہماری ہاتھ ہوگی ایون دین دو ہزار نو جب شاید تھا کلائمیٹ چینج کا لیکن اتنا نہیں تھا جتنا اب ہے اس وقت بھی مجھے یاد ہے جب ہم شوٹ کر رہے تھے یہ ٹریول شو تو اس وقت مجھے یاد ہے مجھے یقین نہیں آ رہا تھا کہ یہ ممکن ہے کہ یہ ممکن کیا ہم ڈسٹروائے کر رہے ہیں اس کو اس وقت اور آج ہم یہ بیٹھ کے بات کر رہے کہ یہ ہو رہا ہے اور کیونکہ بکول آپ کے کہ حکومت کچھ نہیں کرے لہذا ذمہ داری ہمارے اوپر ہے لیکن میں لوگوں کو سوال ہم کیا کریں ہم کیا کر سکتے ہیں بالکل بالکل اور میں بھی میں نے بھی یہ سوال اپنے اپنے آپ سے کتنی دفعہ پوچھا ہے اور مستقل پوچھتا رہتا ہوں کیونکہ جب ہم باہر نکلتے ہیں تو ہم دیکھتے ہیں کہ آفات 
का एक पहाड़ है यानी आप चाहे यहाँ से वहां जाना चाहें या कुछ काम करना शुरू करें हर जगह जो है जो नॉर्मल सिस्टम है उससे हटके चीजें हो रही हैं हर चीज का एक रेट है ठीक है तो जो तो इसका इलाज एक्चुअली हमें दो तीन तरह से खुद ब खुद टेक्नोलॉजिकल चेंजेस की वजह से मिल गया है उनमें से अगर आप देखें कोविड ने भी हेल्प किया है कि हम एकदम से ज्यादा डिजिटल हो गए वी जम्प ऑन टू द इंटरनेट सो दैट मीन्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ द सोल्यूशन आर डिजिटल विच वर पॉसिबल लेकिन कोविड की वजह से नाउ वी गोइंग टूवर्ड्स दैन एंड वन ऑफ दैन इज ई गवर्नमेंट ई गवर्नमेंट मीन्स दैट आपका शनाख्ती कार्ड है देन यू हैव अ राइट टू मेक पॉलिसी इन द गवर्नमेंट अपनी पार्टिसिपेशन अगर आप करना चाहें तो आप जरूर करें अभी तो ये है कि स्टे आउट तो पार्टिसिपेशन इन गवर्नमेंट टू डिजिटल मीन दिस इज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दट गोइंग टू हैपन ई गवर्नमेंट नाउ वेरी स्पेशल ज्वाइनिंग अस फ्रॉम ऑल द वे इन ग्लास गोइ इज इन ग्लास गो राइट नाउ दुर्लभ अशोक हु इज पार्ट ऑफ द स्टैंडिंग कमेटी ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज नेशनल असेंबली रिप्रेजेंटिंग पाकिस्तान रिली इन द थिक ऑफ थिंग्स दुर्लभ गुड मॉर्निंग एंड एंड वेलकम टू द शो Hi, Salim. Good morning from uh, rainy Glasgow. How are you doing? Is it raining in Glasgow? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Yasser joining us here. You want to say good morning, Yasser? Hi, Yasser. How are you doing? Hi. You made it there. Yeah. <laughs> <Why? laughs> <laughs> so, the love tell you. As I said, you're in the thick of things, right? Right. It's happening. What are the headlines? What's going on there? Give us a little um, a feel for what the uh, headlines are and what the feel is as you're you're there right now. Right, so there has been couple of uh, very great announcements coming through because first few days all the big uh, politicians for different countries are there. Mm. So, for example, uh, like the Boris Johnson of UK, the Prime Minister of UK admitted that the G20 countries, like the biggest polluters of the world, uh, they they put out their plan to to cut down carbon and it's too vague. So that was a very very good announcement because usually these countries don't mm. usually admit what what they have been doing wrong. Mm-hmm. So that was one of the highlights for for the for the conference. What what are uh, Pakistan's issues uh, on the uh, the climate crisis? So Pakistan, so we are uh, a bit in an unfortunate situation because even though Pakistan has not been contributing, like historically contributing uh, to the greenhouse gases since since many many years, but mm-hmm. we are like the one of the most countries. uh that that will be affected by climate change if nothing is done in 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 a couple of decades so it has been projected for example that uh pakistan um average temperature could be risen by up to 4 degrees by the end of the century so that's very 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 bad for the uh, ecosystem it will raise so much higher risk for disaster related incidents because uh you pretty sure you must have heard about the and read read in the news about the Uh, urban flooding that happened in our capital, right? That 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 is something that we'll see quite uh, a lot of moving forward if, if nothing is done. Urban flooding. Uh, so there would be uh, like the the marginalized groups, the the poor and and minority communities uh, would be greatly affected by these risks as well because they would be the one to be most affected and would have the least amount of power to do something about it. So we will be seeing all kind of different issues, uh, especially within within our cities, our urban dwellers. Uh, there would be increased uh, risk. I was hearing Yasir in the beginning of the show. He also mentioned, okay, the risk, the heat is going to increase uh, on an yearly basis, and these people will be most affected by heat wave. Uh, we would see rise in sickness uh, because again of the uh, the uh, the different disease mm-hmm. that thrives on sickness as well. So yeah. um with the conference and you know the the headlines and announcements what are you looking forward to in well today and and in days to come what what are we what are some of the things that you might be hoping for or, or hoping to hear right so so uh, i have been working in in climate for a couple of years now and yeah. my main uh basically i've been working with young people across the world right. so there are a couple of main issues that that we are focusing on right so number one is net zero and limiting the uh, uh the rise of global temperatures by 1.5 degrees possible mm. and well below 2 degrees because that's when the scientists scientists have predicted that if it goes uh, above 2 2 degrees there's going to be run run away uh, climate related uh, events that that that's going to be very very hard for the humans uh, to to stop 
So these are like the two important areas that we are really, really pushing for. Mm. And another is, is that's w- what's very big is relating to client, or, sorry, to finance. Mm. Because in, in the last COP, uh, uh, they, they basically said, okay, we will create a fund that will be used by the uh, developing countries, non-NX countries, basically, do, like in Pakistan is included in those. And we will use that fund to, to, uh, to project, to bring projects and to bring technology transfers into these countries so that they can adopt their their ecosystem and mitigate the risk of some of the climate-related uh, issues. Yasser, did you have a question for for Durlab? I mean, he's in the thick of it, and I I, I know that you were you should be there. But do you, do you have a? Would Durlab, you like to ask him something? Yeah, Durlab, it's interesting that uh, you're in Glasgow, where COP is happening right now, and also Koi, the Conference of Youth, mm. and uh, I heard they had a very emotional session. And uh, you know, being away from home is also emotional. So, mm-hmm. so tell me about what are your thoughts about uh, working in Pakistan? What you've been doing? So yeah, so yeah. So before uh, coming to here uh, a month ago, uh, I, like I was at the in the slum, but at the parliament house, we were mm-hmm. working with some, some of the parliamentarians and senators, basically trying to uh, hammer out the details for the Pakistan's announcement and Pakistan's position. Mm-hmm. Uh, for this COP26, so so I have found this it's, it's a bit hard being a young people and 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 having no connections to politicians to be working in climate change. But but uh, there is hope because I have met so many uh, tremendous uh, young people across Pakistan that have been working in climate change uh, just just by themselves and without any any significant resources. So that. Uh, a positive sign and a, and a, and a source of hope for me. I love it that you say that there's hope and then you've added the youth and that's, they're, they're the people that are, that are doing the work that needs to be done. And I, and I love, I find that, I find that amazing and I find that uplifting as well. Um, so how can we sign up for collective action? Dhulam? Yep, yep. So collective action is just really important, right? Mm-hmm. Because like there, there's two ways to go about it. First is, is just, just putting all our bets on governments and, and big organizations that they will take care of the environment for us mm. and look where it, where it has got us in the last couple of decades, right? It's, 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 it's very, very bad. Mm. So at the same time, you could take uh, some actions in your own life that will help you yes. uh, and, and mitigate the risk and basically do good for for the planet, right? Yeah. So number one, uh, the, I have a few lists that that I I, I put together for for this, right? Mm. So so one of the most uh like bad activity that you can do for mm. climate is to is to burn coal or to use energy inefficiently, right? Mm. So this could be either using a very old car that that's not certified, like to be frank. To be on the road, but you are still using it, right? Mm. So, so try to try to just keep that car at home, and if possible, walk as much as you can. Yeah. Uh, then, then it comes to protecting the green spaces, right? We mm. also talked about a bit in the beginning about the uh, islands that that are being endangered, right? The islands. So, so we need to speak up when when it comes to that because these these green, uh, green spaces. Are sort of uh, for our future, for our future generations. So basically, if you are removing all of that, then it's, it's going to be a very bad uh, consequences for us. Consumption and waste yeah. is something that's also very important when when you look at the global carbon footprint. Yeah. So Yasser has also been talking about you know air quality, and we've touched on air quality. When I when I, when I it's, so when I look at this, um, guys, I look at this from a very layman's point of view, from a very non-expert. Um, slash observer point of view as I go about my day-to-day. So when we talk about air quality, we talk about air quality, for example, um, is, I mean, can we not inform them that there is another way of disposing of waste? Or, I mean, is that even relevant? Yeah, um, Yasin, and then we'll, maybe we'll come to uh, Durlab for that one. Yeah. Okay, so if we think we are living in 2021, mm. then we would not have this problem. Mm. But we are living in like the 18th century. This mm. makes physically, the hands of the hand. One person comes from home, takes it to the house, and goes to the other place and dumps it. Then he is doing different hands with the hand without any protective gear. Mm. So we are living in like, you know, 1700 something people like जिन वेजेस पे काम करते हैं बिलो गवर्नमेंट के दफ्तर जो है वो वो जमादारों को मिनिमम वेज भी नहीं दे रहे हैं उनको कोर्ट में जा जा के उनसे करवाना पड़ रहा है ये एक साल में नहीं साल एक वो ये करते हैं सो द गवर्नमेंट इज इज नॉट विलिंग टू डू इट 
जो सीरियस चीजें टेक्नोलॉजिकली इस वक्त करनी चाहिए दे आर लीस्ट इंटरेस्टेड इन इट बिकॉज दे आर डूइंग समथिंग एल्स एंड जो नजर आ रहे फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉट मुर्सा वहाव इज डूइंग इज ऑन कॉस्मेटिक इट्स इट मीन्स नथिंग कि यू नो यहां से झाड़ू दिलवा दिए करवा दिए नो यू हैव टू सॉल्व द सीवरेज प्रॉब्लम ऑल ऑफ द सीवरेज हैज टू बी रिसाइकल्ड इनफैक्ट राइट नाउ ट्वेंटी सेवन मिलियन पीपल इन कराची देयर फीसिस दे गो राइट इन टू द सी दे गो राइट इन टू टू रिवर्स मलीर रिवर एंड लियारी रिवर कैन यू इमेजिन ऑल ऑफ कराचीज एक्सप्रीमेंट इज गोइंग अनट्रीटेड इन टू द रिवर्स एंड द सी एंड एंड द मैंग्रोव ठीक है सो दे आर इग्नोरिंग दिस ह्यूज प्रॉब्लम ठीक है सो आई मीन इट्स हाउ वट वर्स इन दिस लिविंग इन अ पूल ऑफ एक्सप्रीमेंट दैट्स वॉट द स्टेट ऑफ कराची इज सो वट एवर दे आर डूइंग इज कंप्लीटली कॉस्मेटिक ऑन द अदर हैंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू ग्रैब मोर एंड मोर लैंड कराची हैज नो बाउंड्रीज सो वी गॉट दिस सिवियर प्रॉब्लम वेयर द पॉलिसीज आर टोटली टोटली डायरेक्टेड बाय लैंड बिजनेस एंड आई वुड से अनकॉन्शियंशियस शार्क्स लैंड शार्क्स दे आर कंप्लीटली एंटी पीपल बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग फॉर द पीपल इन अ सीरियस वे दुर्लभ इसमें कोई इससे पहले कि हम अलविदा के कोई इजाफी बात कहना चाहेंगे put some action points for us so again yeah. just just like right, very very briefly mm. so when it comes to waste right we are the one that are producing waste right so mm. that's also very important to 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 bring into this so there are again individual action that anyone can take really mm. so on the top of it is it's, it's going uh, reusable like how you can improve the planet by using reusable thing rather than just sticking to stay single use plastic that's mm. the word mm. that we have been hearing for quite some time now and quite frequently So take your cutleries with you. Take take a uh, water bottle that you can reuse. Mm. Don't opt for grocery bag. Take a cloth bag right. with you and reuse it as much as possible. Right. Thanks so much, Durlam. Thanks so much. Uh, you've got the conference there. Who is uh, Durlam is part of the Standing Committee on Climate Change National Assembly. Thank you for joining us from uh, from Scotland. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Dula. Joining us right now, very special guest. She works on climate change with intersectional gender and the Wash program. She has worked in community development as the Global Assembly Lab, Climate Action March, and Girls Climate Talk in Balochistan's public schools. She is an Acumen Fellow and founding curator of Global Shiba Community. She's based out in Turbat. Joining us right now is Granaz Balochistan. Salam alaikum, ji, and welcome to the show. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you for taking me on board. What an absolute pleasure. Yasser is also here with me. Hello. Kya hal hai, Ganas? I'm good, Yasser. What about you? Thank you for taking. Um, our absolute pre- pleasure. Uh, Ganas, tell us what is the Global Assembly for, and what are the the, the three cities that are involved, and why those three cities? Can you tell us more about that. Yes, of course. Uh, Global Assembly is actually this is for the everyone. दुनिया में किसी भी इंसान कोई मतलब कोई जबान की लिमिटेशन नहीं या फिर वो कहाँ रहता है कैसे रहता है उसकी कोई लिमिटेशन नहीं है बस उसकी ये कुछ खास चीजें ये हैं कि हमें कलेक्टिव वॉइसेस चाहिए कम्युनिटी वॉइसेस चाहिए ना कि सिर्फ हमारे लीडर्स बात करें हमारे कॉमन लोग भी बात करें इंडिजीनियस जो लोग हैं उनको भी हमें ऑन बोर्ड लेना चाहिए ग्लोबल असेंबली का जो इनिशिएटिव है वो इस चीज पर बेस्ड है कि आप कोई भी इंसान कहीं पे भी रहता हो उसकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्लाइमेट चेंज पर है या नहीं है वो उसका हिस्सा है और बाकी ये बात रही एक दिस इज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन के ये पाकिस्तान के तीन जगह क्यों है एक्चुअली मैं आपको थोड़ी सी एक इंटरेस्टिंग चीजें बताना चाहूंगी कि जो हंड्रेड पॉइंट हमने लिए हैं वो नासा डेटाबेस से लिए गए थे उन हंड्रेड पॉइंट से फिर जो हंड्रेड पॉइंट निकले तो पाकिस्तान में तीन जगह निकले थे फॉर एग्जाम्पल पंजाब में दो लोकेशन है और सिंध में एक है पंजाब में जंग है और रही यार खान है और सिंध में लाड़काना है अब इसके बाद इस प्रोसेस के बाद अब ये एक सवाल था कि हम आम लोगों तक कैसे पहुंचेंगे ये तो लोकेशन है सेकंड चीज हमने ये कोशिश की कि उन लोकेशन में कम्युनिटी होस्ट ढूंढे उनको रिक्रूट किया जिस जिस इलाके में जो जो था फॉर एग्जांपल एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जो 
लालकाना में है उनको हमने ऑन बोर्ड लिया फिर उनसे हमने एक थोड़ी सी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइन की और उनसे बात किया कि आपने चार से छह पाँच पे लालकाना के अंदर जी डोर टू डोर घर घर जाके उसकी कोई लिमिटेशन नहीं वो सिंधी में उनके असेंबली मेंबर सिंधी में बात करें हमें कोई इशू नहीं फिर उसके बाद जब चार से छह पार्टिसिपेंट हमने लिए उन्होंने जब हमें कहा कि ये चार से छह पार्टिसिपेंट हैं फिर एक इंटरेस्टिंग चीज में भी आपको पता है कि दुनिया में सिटीजन असेंबली के लिए सिर्फ एक लॉटरी होती है जिसको सोटेशन फाउंडेशन करता है उसके बाद जब लॉटरी हमें सिर्फ एक कम्युनिटी एक असेंबली मेंबर लेना है चार से छह में से तो उसके बाद हमने जब लॉटरी निकाली तो उसमें छह में से एक बंदा सेलेक्ट हुआ अब ये छोटी सी और ब्रीफ है कि वन पॉइंट लाड़काना है वन कम्युनिटी हो जो लाड़काना से ताल्लुक रखता हो और तीस, जो तीसरा एक पॉइंट एक जो बंदा है असेंबली मेंबर है जो पूरे ग्लोबल असेंबली का हिस्सा रहा वो लाड़काना के अंदर है यानी एक पॉइंट एक असेंबली मेंबर एक कम्युनिटी हो इसी तरह रही मैार खान में पूरी दुनिया में यानी सौ कम्युनिटी हो सौ असेंबली मेंबर सौ पॉइंट और सब ने ऑनलाइन इसको अटेंड किया और ये सबसे जबरदस्त बात ये है कि आज हमारा जो है प्रपोजल जा रहा है कोप ट्वेंटी सिक्स में उन आम इंसानों का उन आम इंसानों के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू का जिनकी जो खास जो कैटेगरी वाइज है कि हमने ग्रुप को चूज किया है उनके जेंडर से उनके इकोनॉमिक बैकग्राउंड से उनके प्रीवियस ओपिनियन से क्लाइमेट चेंज के एक मतलब ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन की एक स्नैप शॉट है लेकिन ये यहाँ तक लिमिटेड नहीं है हम कोप ट्वेंटी सिक्स के बाद भी काम करेंगे कुछ चीजों पर हमारा फाइनल रिपोर्ट होगा लेकिन कोई बात नहीं अगर वो तीन लोकेशन हैं सिर्फ पाकिस्तान में अभी जो कोई भी मुझे सुन रहा है डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू ग्लोबल असेंबली डॉट ओ आर जी में जाए वो अपना रजिस्टर करें कम्युनिटी असेंबली करना चाहते हैं अपने इलाके में वहाँ टूल किट है फ्री टूल किट है आप भी वही चीज है आप अपने इलाके में कर सकते हैं वो आपको हेल्प कर सकते हैं आप एक दिन का करना चाहते हैं हफ्ते का करना चाहते हैं दो घंटे का करना चाहते हैं टूल किट में सब कुछ अवेलेबल है कोई भी कोई भी करना चाहे वो अपने लिए कम्यु, अपना कम्युनिटी असेंबली रन करना चाहे वो कर सकता है वो वेबसाइट दोबारा दोहराइएगा डब्ल्यू 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 ग्लोबल असेंबली डॉट ओ आर जी ग्लोबल असेंबली डॉट ओ आर जी ये जो ऑनलाइन इवेंट है ये कब है और कहाँ है जी आ, आज यूट्यूब पे होगा आ, और ग्लोबल असेंबली के जो अपना एक यूट्यूब चैनल है वहाँ पर होगा पाकिस्तान टाइम में छ छह बजे से आठ बजे होगा जहाँ हम जहाँ जो असेंबली में जो मेंबर्स थे जो पार्टिसिपेंट थे किसी भी इलाके से थे कहीं से भी थे लाइक जो हमारे पास मैंने आपको कहा लाड़काना की सिंधी स्पीकिंग थी वो सब सब उनके जो प्रपोजल थे वो आज हम पेश करेंगे कोप ट्वेंटी सिक्स में ये आम लोगों के प्रपोजल थे Wow. Bloch, thank you very much for joining us, um, and we will be in touch. Okay, uh, kya nataij uh, nikle? Uh, we'll be we'll be speaking to you very soon. Grinas Bloch joining us. Baba, shukri aapka. Aur chiz mein aapko bata. Ji ji bolay bolay ji 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 ji. Ah, ke ah, isme hamara ek aur platform hai. Usko wiki platform kehte hain. Wahan par. आपको अभी तक आठ लैंग्वेजेस की ट्रांसलेशन ट्रांसलेटेड वर्जन मिलेगी कि जहाँ पे हर इल, हर जो पॉइंट है उसके हिसाब की सा लैंग्वेज में उनके अपने लैंग्वेज में उनके अपने लोकल स्टोरीज क्लाइमेट चेंज के आपको अवेलेबल मिलेंगे वो विकी है उसका नाम विकी डब्ल्यू आई के आई जो ओ आर जी और वो भी ग्लोबल असेंबली का हिस्सा है आप वहाँ से भी देख सकते हैं और इंटरेस्टिंग बात यह है कि रहीम यार खान और जंग में जंग की जो लैंग्वेज है वो उर्दू है और जो लाड़काना की लैंग्वेज है वो सिंधी है उनके आपको सारे जो रीडिंग मटेरियल्स हैं जो भी मटेरियल्स हैं वो भी आपको अवेलेबल आप ही के लैंग्वेज में मिलेंगे ग्लोबल असेंबली डॉट ओ आर जी बाबा शुक्र गनाज बलोच ज्वाइनिंग आस थैंक यू सो मच ग्रेट अथर्नबर्ग सेज दैट दिस इज नॉट अ ड्रिल फोक्स इट्स कोड रेड इट्स कोड रेड फॉर अर्थ अ न्यू सेगमेंट हियर ऑन एफ एम नाइनटी वन बिकॉज दिस इज सीरियस एंड एज आई जस्ट से ग्रेट अथर्नबर्ग इज कोड रेड फॉर प्लान अर्थ या सर इन क्लोजिंग विद सो मच दैट वीव टॉक्ट अबाउट एज एज सर ऑफ एन इंट्रो इन टू वट्स हैपनिंग ग्लोबली एंड हियर इन पाकिस्तान ऑल्सो What what comes to mind? 
that nature is missing from our lives. We think we are apart from nature, no. mm -hmm. but we are actually a that. part of nature. Love that. Mm. We are we are evolved animals. Mm. We should not forget that. Mm. We are evolved from plants. So we are part of the living world uh, on the planet. Mm. And this survives on clean water mm. and clean air. Now, over the last hundred years, what we call the Anthropocene, you know, mm. the age of technological uh, innovations mm. uh, created by human beings mm. have damaged the planet mm -hmm. through these emissions, mm -hmm. through the use of fossil fuels and environmental destruction. See, the environment movement really woke up in the 60s and it has come a long way. Mm. Um, in Pakistan, it really uh, started uh, is having a momentum uh, uh, through journalists uh, who started bringing up environmental issues in the 90s. Mm. Uh, and then IUCN happened and a lot has happened since then. Mm. And the climate march happened, which means a lot of young people are involved. Mm. So um, I want to, you know, uh, uh, invite everybody. You see, Drenaz and uh, and um, um, Dulab. Dulab. Yeah. they were talking about including people, marginalized, marginalized communities, Ji. indigenous people, um, uh, and poor communities who are left out. So we are really saying, you know, we can't leave anybody behind. We want everybody on board the new plan, and which is to clean the air. So we want clean air. Clean air. Got it. Check. Mm. We want clean drinking water for everyone. Drinking water. Yeah. Now these two things are missing. Mm -hmm. Lahore is 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 a nightmare. Mm. It has poisonous air. Karachi is poisonous air. Like I just said, I was talking about sewage. All over Pakistan, mm. all the sewage in all the rivers, from all the towns, is coming down through the Indus into Karachi's. Delta mm. and going into the sea. It is untreated sewage. Now, this does not happen in a in a planned, well planned country, and uh, we are an exception. Why are we like this? So, we have to increase the pressure on private uh, entities, business, and the government, bringing them together uh, on one table to increase the green economy mm. and scale down the coal economy, the, the, the economy that produces emissions and bad air, mm. uh, put in systems which recycle everything so you end up with zero waste. Mm. So anything, any packaging, so all packaging is green and biodegradable. Mm. So you don't see stuff on the, on the road sites yeah. because it is already picked up or, yeah. or it biodegrades. So it actually helps the agriculture. If it biodegrades, it becomes nutrients. Mm. So you have to build in these these circular circuits, and this is called the circular economy. So each of these is a future business. It's a whole. These are whole industries. Why don't we uh, recycle the sewage? Um, there is a field now called data, uh, called uh, urban mining. So what you do is. Uh, you know, the trash that gets picked up, loha alag hota hai, glass alag hota hai, okay? So, that recycle is happening, that's the circular economy, okay? But we can get rid of it from the elements, like things that you need for mobiles, that cobalt and that thing, cadmium, we can get rid of it from the trash, and we can get rid of it from the trash, okay? So, the whole thing is moving up the technological ladder, uh, train our people, uh, uh, vocational education, right? And setting up these industries, you know, and taking off. Why Lots are we not do. taking off? Lots to do. FM91, because it's urgent, needs to be acted upon right now. COP26, a brand new segment, twice a week. Joining us on Thursday, Yasser will be here, obviously. We've also got uh, Ghayas Khan Saab, CEO of Engro Corp, will be joining us on Thursday. We are out of time. Thank you very much. Um, on our social media pages, FM91, Facebook and Instagram page, koi sawal ho, koi soch ho, ek nazar ho, zhrur pesh ki jiga, kyunke ye hoga ek guftugu hai aapke aur hamaay darmiyan, hukumato ko chhoad dein, kyunke ye aapne aur hamne ye kaam karna hai, liya aza guftugu bhi aapas mein hi hogi, thank you very much we'll catch you tomorrow here on KMMJ, may your news be good news